What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Christmas Day. It's December 25th. The presents have been all unwrapped and now it's time for me to show you what I got for Christmas. Now really quickly before I get started showing you everything, I do want to say I am not showing off or bragging by any means. I am just sharing with you what I received for Christmas. I really enjoy watching these videos. I like watching other people's videos and what they receive for Christmas. And also, there's a lot of you on here that have been subscribed to my channel for a couple of years now. And at this point, it's like we're family. And I'm just sharing with you what I receive for Christmas. So again, I'm super grateful. Thank you so much, mom, dad, and of course, Santa Claus. Now this year for Christmas, my family and I decided we weren't going to go too over the top with presents. So we stuck to more practical gifts that we know we're going to use throughout the entire year. And also obviously a few gifts that we really, really wanted. So there's a nice mix of items I have in here. I don't usually show my entire haul. Well, actually, I think I did that two years ago. But I know last year for the What I Got for Christmas video, I only showed physical media and movie related items. But this year I'm going to show you everything that I received, including my stocking, because it's not too overboard and crazy, like I mentioned. So to make a nice rounded out video, I'm showing you everything. So here's everything, presents and stocking. So let's start off with the physical media and movie centric items. So I'm going to start off with what I'm really, really excited about. And you already know what this item is because you saw in a previous video, I let you know in a couple of videos since then, I am getting this for Christmas. There we go. The Twilight Saga 4K Steel Book box set. There we go. Super excited about this one. I mean, I haven't watched these movies in a while. I'll probably rewatch them in the month of February, the month of love, Valentine's Day. You know what I'm talking about. But I will be doing an unboxing of this box set in a couple of days to show you what these steelbooks look like because they're looking pretty amazing. So I am really grateful to have this. So mom, dad, thank you so much for picking this up for me. Really do appreciate it. No worries. Complete unboxing coming your way. I think I have it scheduled for Thursday. So be on the lookout for that. So let's put Bella and Edward down right over there. Okay, so we have a couple of gift cards. Obviously, one of them will be used for physical media because it is Amazon. Oh, yes, a $100 Amazon gift card from my father. Every single year on Christmas, my dad likes to get me a couple of Christmas gifts just from him. And these gift cards are from my father. So Amazon gift card to pick up some more 4Ks. There we go. And Chili's, a $25 gift card for Chili's, but I think he picked this up for himself because he loves those Southwest egg rolls. So gosh darn much, but thank you, dad. Thank you. So Amazon and Chili's, there we go. Very excited. You can never go wrong with gift cards. Let's be honest. All right. So continuing on like the movie train every single year, you guys know, I need brand new calendars. You see the one behind me on the back of my door and it's usually always a Marvel calendar. And this year the trend continues. I have a brand new 2024 Marvel calendar. This one's looking pretty cool. Here we go. There's all the months Ooh, so you guys can see. So this brand new calendar will be up on the back of the door this time next week. So that's perfect. Just toss that off to the side. Now I'm super excited about this box set because when I heard this box set was being released, I knew right away I was not going to pick it up. I was saving it as a Christmas gift. Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock volume three 4k collection. You have the five brand new, not brand new movies, but the five movies in the brand new box set. There we go. And I'm really thinking about kicking off the brand new year in January with Alfred Hitchcock Films being my movie watching theme. So that's another reason I really wanted this for Christmas. And I do have the other two collection sets, volumes one and two. So this is perfect. This was perfect to add in. Let me see if I can lie that. 
There we go. I'm trying to keep everything organized as I go. Okay, so Kino Lorber was having their Winter Wonderland sale, and I asked my mom, Mom, is it okay? Can I go on Kino Lorber's website and order some 4Ks on you? And she said, yes, absolutely. So that is what I did. So I technically did get a Kino Lorber order, but for Christmas. So we're not doing a Kino Lorber unboxing. I'm just showing you right here in the what I got for Christmas. So there is no slip cover on this one, but I knew that going in with ordering it. So I picked up Hannibal. 4k excited never seen this one never seen it so excited about that and also red dragon came with a slip fantastic and the final 4k i picked up 12 angry men now yes i do own the criterion of 12 angry men however i think this one is a significant upgrade because that's just a regular blu-ray the criterion this is a 4K plus, if I'm reading this correctly, the remake or the redo of 12 Angry Men from 1997 is also in this package as well. So you're really getting two movies for the price of one. You can't really beat that. Not at all. And obviously it came with the slip cover. So really happy about that. So that's my Kino Lorber order. And that is it for movie, for physical media and movie themed items. So now let's get into the rest of my holiday. And I like doing this because I feel like this shows you more about myself, like different parts of my personality and what I like to own, I guess. It just gets you to, it lets you get to know me more. There we go. Okay, so I needed more bath towels because for some reason you can never have enough bath towels. So my mom got me if I can grab it, here we go. I'm only gonna show you one, but two bath towels, very comfy, cozy, the color gray. I love gray, white, black. That's kind of my color aesthetic and also pink thrown in as well. And I just really like those colors for my bathroom sets. So here we go, two gray towels. And then also with that, I needed brand new washcloths so badly. So of course she picked me out this six piece set. You have white, you have black and then you have gray. So that is perfect. And I really like this nice quality, like thick texture in there. So I am looking forward to washing those up and using those because I'm all about a nice hot shower and a great towel. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> but you're going to see that because I have a lot of bathroom items to show you. Okay. I love these shampoo and conditioner sets. So I have two herbal essence. I really like this, um, this scent. It's called Rose Hips. If you've never used it, I highly recommend it. It's very, very nice. Also, we have Garnier Fructis. So we have another different scent for me to try. I've never tried this one, so I'm excited about that. Let me just try to, there we go. All right. I've recently gotten into using sugar scrubs in the shower. I think my mom introduced me to sugar scrubs like two years ago. Yeah, I'm a newbie to sugar scrubs. And this one I'm excited about. It is a melatonin sleep scrub, but I shower in the morning. So I'm really hoping that when I use this, I'm not falling asleep at the wheel while I'm delivering food. <laughs> I'm really, really hoping that's not gonna happen but it just looks like it's going to soothe my skin and I'm just going to be like the calmest person ever. Cross fingers. That's the hope. So I have a brand new sleep scrub. Super excited about that one. I'm super excited about everything. Let's be honest. Okay. Well, what is washcloths and bath towels without soap? Cause I have shampoo and conditioner. So obviously now I have to have soap. So I have soap. I have three different kinds of soap. I'm a suave gal. This is me. So sweet pea, mango. This is like a brand new scent, I guess. And juicy green apple. So if you guys have not tried these, I recommend because I think they are great. I think they are great, great scents. And they're really cheap. They're like less than $3 a bottle at Walmart. They're super cheap. All right. So I needed face wash. I just opened my last face wash, can I say, 
face wash. I just opened my last face wash. There we go for my shower. So I needed more supplies because I always need backups. That's me. I'm a type A personality. I don't like to run out of anything because I have my own bathroom closet right in my bathroom. So we got two face washes, not one, but two. And I have sensitive skin, as you guys know. So this is for sensitive skin, but this is great. Clean and clear, great stuff. I highly recommend it if you guys haven't used that one either. All right, let's move the sugar scrub. And we're almost getting into the stockings. This is like the last gift with the calendar. I always get the door calendar. And for YouTube purposes, I always get my yearly calendar that sits on my dresser. And this is where I plot out my video ideas and I write them down inside of this calendar. I like the style of this calendar. I don't like the little boxes. I don't, I like straight across for every single day. That's just me. So I'm really happy. Got another one. I'm all set for the upcoming year. I got to start planning out the month of January because in a week we're there. So I got to start jotting down my ideas. So happy I have that one. So now I think everything else I'm showing you was from my stocking. So that was it. That was it for regular gifts. And I think that is enough. That is enough. Because like I said, we don't really need anything. I have clothes. I have bags. I have shoes. I, I have everything that I need. So it's just stuff that you need for your everyday life. And I'm all about that because that means I don't have to pick it up during the year and spend money. Ding, ding, ding. All right. So in my stocking, we have razor blades. Could always use some good razor blades. Nice razor. So we got that. We have little Russell Stover assorted chocolates. This is so cute. I love the reindeer on there. You get like the little candies right there in the back. We have little cotton rounds because I do my nightly skin regime of toner on my face. Got to keep the face clean. Got to be presentable for you guys every single day. So this is one of those keys. I use these every single night. So we got that. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a sucker for a good lip balm. Like I don't use lipstick. I don't wear makeup as you guys can see. Like I do not wear makeup. I think it's a huge waste of money and also time because I know some women work on their faces for like two hours. They walk out the door and it starts melting off their face in, you know, the heat of the summertime. That is not me. I hate wearing makeup. I despise it. The only thing I wear on a daily basis is lip, lip balm or lip gloss. I don't even wear lipstick because I cannot stand it. So a good lip balm or a lip gloss, I am there. So when it comes to that, I always prefer EOS. I think that's how you say it. EOS, EOS, whatever. So this one is birthday cake flavor and I've never had birthday cake flavor. So I am intrigued by this. How much I love lip gloss. I have one in my room and one in my car at all times because I cannot stand having a dry or chapped lip. There we go. And I also received Blistex because I'm in Connecticut. And when these winters start rolling through and the snowstorms start happening, our lips can get really, really chapped if we're not careful. So I think that's why I'm like so big on the lip balm and the lip gloss situation. But Blistex, I've never really gone for Blistex. So this is a great one to try. Deep Renewal, Lip Vibrance, and a Moisture Revitalizer. I need to be revitalized, I think, every once in a while. So I'm looking forward to trying that. So I'm, my lips, my lips are cut. That sounds dirty, but my lips are all set. Okay, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> Just edit that out of your brain. All right, we got some more chocolate. Gotta have the candy cane. We're a sucker for these. We pick these up every single year. I usually get Hershey Kisses. Sometimes I get the peanut butter cups. My dad always gets the Rolos. He's a sucker for Rolos. And then my mom gets something else. She gets kisses as well. But we always put these in each other's stockings. So there we go. Got the Hershey Kisses. And I love the Lint chocolates. If you guys see this. Classic milk chocolate. 
These are so good. So I got two of them because I guess I was that good. I don't know. And finally, because I received so many chocolates and we have cookies upstairs and things like that, the teeth have got to be on point. Toothbrushes. Toothbrushes is a great gift for your stocking. I will say that. And I change out my toothbrush every single month because I'm kind of like phobic with germs and things like that. So this is great. I always need toothbrushes on hand. That may be too much information for the channel, but honestly, I think I've gone beyond that before. So I think we're still okay. So that's everything. That is everything that I received for Christmas from my parents, Santa, regular gifts in my stocking. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you taking your time out of your holiday to watch me on camera, but I want to know what you got for Christmas. So please comment down below and share. What did you get for Christmas? It doesn't have to be movie related. Whatever you guys want to share, I want to know. So enjoy the rest of your holiday tonight, going into tomorrow, into New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.